if you watch my New Year's Eve video about goodbye to 2016, I mentioned buying a house, which unfortunately I will let you know now, we did not get. They didn't choose us. So what do we do? We start going antiquing. So just a little show and tell here of what I want to do because I was really excited. I had been wanting to do something with this wall for a really long time in my house. I like old things. I, I'm a scavenger. I'm a bargain hunter. I buy stuff at Savers, which I will share right now. So this is kind of just like my, my overall haul that I've been collecting for many years. Um, so a lot of these, I've a lot of these tea sets, I've just had in storage, like at the top of my, excuse my kitchen spaghetti, like I've just had it stored away because I had no place to display them or the places I did have to display them, it was, it was just, my, my son was just like all over it. So I kind of wanted to go over this. If you're into antiquing and vintage shit, just stay tuned. I want to share with you all my stuff and give you some tips on interesting pieces that you could also get. Let's kind of break it down. So the buffet that I just showed you right now on, on my wall, I got it for 200 bucks off Craigslist. I have been wanting a china cabinet or something to display my teapot obsession collection for a long time. And since we didn't get the house and we had money left over, well, you know, try and fix up the house, right? So let me show you this first one because I really like owls. I know how cliche I'm. I liked owls before people liked owls, okay? Let's let's get it straight real quick. So I bought this, and if you follow my Instagram, you might have you might have seen it like a soup, I mean like a super long time ago, you guys, like maybe like a year and a half, two years ago, I bought this. It was priced at six bucks. It says I still have the box that the person sold it to me in, but they had posted it in like a yard sale group on Facebook at half price. They were just trying to get rid of it. It was three bucks for everything. So I hauled butt over there and luckily it was just someone that lived in like the next subdivision from where I live. So I had all these really cool owl things for your coffee. So it has this and then it has like a little spot for the for the spoon. So I guess this is where you put your your co your coffee for your ground coffee. I don't know. And then it also came with the little the sugar bowl. And it has a little hole for the spoon and it has a cute little owl on top. It is chipped inside, but of course like this is just for decorative purposes. So like that doesn't bother me. I have my salt and pepper shakers. I assume this is for my creamer. Napkin holder. And uh, got me another creamer thing. <clears throat> so I assume this is like ceramic. I'm not a huge ceramic fan, but just because of the novelty and the, the fact that this was owls, I jumped on it right away. <clears throat> and it's just been sitting in my cabinet above my fridge for like two years. But now that I have a, a spot for it, I'm gonna place it here. Another one that I got a couple years ago, I bought this at Macy's because they had a huge uh, like China collection that they sold like different lines of China and this is the Royal Alberts line of China. I got this one because it was the cheapest because it was it was pretty pricey. This whole little kit here was like 80 bucks I think or 100 bucks um, and it's just you know a little mini mini tea set. It's very beautiful. I love it. Yeah. I'm not one for country style stuff, but just the little roses and artwork on it <clears throat> sealed the deal for me. Another thing that I bought, I bought this three years ago when I was in San Francisco. Yeah, San Francisco, I get confused. I bought this at a little like Middle Eastern style store. It's a Turkish like coffee set. And if you've ever had Turkish coffee, the shit's like diesel. Oh my god, but it, it's it's cute, and I've had it, you know, put away for some time. So I'm just gonna arrange it like so. Okay, so another some other tea sets that I've had. Um, these I inherited. They are from. She's still with us, by the way. But um, my stepfather's mother 
was recently put in a home because she has um, Alzheimer's. So from what the kids divided amongst their family, the young, his, his daughters, my stepsisters didn't want any of her tea sets because it's old. And since I appreciate like old stuff, um, I got all her, most of her tea set, I think, which I think is really cute. They used to do this back in the day, you know, just, they had tea sets when you had company. And I like that back in the day it was all about being hospitable and helping your neighbor and shit. So like I have this really cute tea set. It's a very small set and then this was like another probably a piece of like a mini set like mine of that. <clears throat> so I'll I'll arrange this and then I'll talk about more about this buffet china cabinet thing that I just bought. Um, another thing that I want to put on display, I don't know how yet how this is going to fit in there, but um, I'll talk about it. I found this a while ago at Savers, which is, um, it's like Value Village, if it's Value Village if you're in Canada. It's like just a, a chain thrift store. They help a lot of local charities. I got, I saw this. It's called Mall Sins Placemats for Special Occasions. And I thought it was very unique. And the thing about when you collect stuff, old things, um, you know, collect stuff that has character or uniqueness to it. And I saw this and I thought it was really cool. I had never seen anything like it. It, it was in mint condition. There are these placemats and it has like a cork back, but it has drawings of different like Australian uh, indigenous animals. So here's like, what is this? This one is a Tasmanian devil. This one's a wombat. Uh, dingo. The dingo ate my baby. I know, I'm sorry, I have a terrible. I, I can't even do Australian accent. I don't even try. But anyways, oh yeah, and this one, a, a coca, coca, coca. Crazy, it looks crazy. But I thought these were really cool, so I bought those. <clears throat> Another thing that I plan to do for this wall is, I, I like things to be, I'm not a minimalist by all means. Um, I like things to look cluttered, but in a, in a cohesive manner, if that makes sense. Um, so I'll take you like a tour around my, my really shitty, dirty kitchen. Please, I apologize. We're, this is the room we're working on now in my house now that we didn't get that house. So we're gonna slowly work on this room. Um, we just had some really cool lights installed, and I'll show you in a bit, from Costco the other day. They're very, like, industrial looking. Um, and then I'll just kind of point out other things. Maybe to give you an idea, if you just bought a house and you were kind of in the same style, uh, you know, stuff that you could, that you could get. So let me, let me show you. <clears throat> okay, so just talk more about this piece. Um, I checked the back label of this. It looks to be about uh, maybe 50s. 40s. I don't think it's any older than that. Um, I guess just because in, in my in my shitty expertise, um, there's already they already started using staples, which I don't think older furniture has staples. Um, but that's just my guess. But it is all solid wood, and that's the thing I I, I stress about when I buy furniture. I am done with a society where everything is just cheap, cheaply made fast and it deteriorates and then you have to throw it out. I really care about heirloom pieces that I could pass down to my kids and that'll last me forever. This is all solid wood. It is chipped in some places but the great thing about it is that you can refinish it, sand it down and it'll look just like new again and, and that's just what I love about it. It is a little bit heavy. I, did, I ended up breaking a piece of it trying to pull this out of my van. I moved this in all by myself but I mean, it's okay. Um, so yeah, it was 200 bucks. I was looking around on Craigslist for other things, but this one, this is the only seller that actually got back to me. And I, I you know, I, like I said, I paid 200 bucks for it. And then this whole wall, since I bought this house like six years ago, it's just been bare. So now's a good time as any is to freshen that up. And at Savers today, I did, just I went on like a frame haul because I just want to plus like just cover this wall in all my family pictures 
in unique frames. So I saw this. Some of these are plastic. Some of these are wood or metal. But again, I, I picked them because they have character. Like this is a cool frame. I like the detailing on this frame. I found this, which goes with a lot of other pieces that I have in my house. And I thought this was really pretty. Just some more gold frames, you know, frames with character, um, gold metal frame. And then I, I saw this piece of artwork, which I like. I might put it in another frame, I'm not sure yet, but this kind of goes with the style of my kitchen. So you can see I got this one and I have this in another video. I found this, I got this for free off a of free cycle group in uh, one of my local city's Facebook groups or whatever. Um, this is a picture I took when I was in Alpine, Texas. The frame I think I got from World Market or something. So you can see with that other gold one I just pulled up. There's, see there's a cohesion in my kitchen even though everything is just kind of like not exactly matchy matchy. But there's like, see all these pictures, they kind of go together. And then I have, um, which I still have to figure out what to do with it. But I have an antique sewing machine in here. And again, this house is really small now that I don't know my kids are growing out of it and all that shit um, I also got these at Savers and they are matching and I did check the brand with them and they do go with the same line that this was made with even though they were I found them in two separate places also up here if you have a niche in your house um, I like to just throw random shit up there so this one I've been working on for a long time and I've, all I've had so far is that clock because everything else that I find, and I'll just show you real quick in, in my living room, I throw up here. And I kind of make like a theme in each section. And then I, I also am gonna be starting like a, a taxidermy part here. As you can see, I also got this on at Savers a, a couple weeks ago and that's gonna go with all my taxidermy bone stuff. Of course, this one you saw in a different video. This giant frame, this came from Kirkland's, but it came from an estate sale from my friend when they were cleaning out the house of their um, recently passed mother-in-law. And she sold this to me with a, with a really pretty German jug set for 50 bucks. So I bought that from my friend. Here again, I, since I, I have high ceilings, I have all this space on top of my ca my cabinets. I just threw all kinds of antique bottles and just junk up there, which I love. I got these lights at Costco, and we really like that industrial feel. Um, let me see what else. I am still working on the space above this cabinet and I have a little thing going on here. Again, I found these two at Savers and they were sold as a pair so they do match. So again, just kind of want to do a quick show and tell of that. Um, I hope you liked what I've been collecting. I'm going to arrange the pictures. I'll take a quick picture of what I have and then just a last part of this rant or sharing video that I have of all my crap. Um, again, heirloom pieces are something that I treasure. I appreciate old things because they were made very well back then. And, you know, like I said, all the new furniture these days, it's, it's crap. Like, I bought brand new when we first bought this house, leather couches, and they had the tag and it said genuine leather. And when they told us it was leather, we paid $1,800 for these couches, and after a few years, the, the main couch that we sit on, all the, the fake leather is just peeling off and it, it, it flakes. So if you wear like a white shirt, you get black flakes all over your back. It looks fucking retarded. Um, and it pissed me off really because it's not, it's not genuine leather. Leather doesn't do that. It's like a pleather veneer of, it's, 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 it's pleather, it's what it is. And I don't know why they hawk it as genuine leather because it doesn't smell, it never smelled like leather. And I've worked with leather, I know exactly what it smells like. So I wish I could have gone back in time and just, we would have spent more money, like a $4,000 couch, and it, my couch would still be looking as good as new because I have kids and you know, the kids will like mess all your stuff up. And then another thing about heirloom pieces, you know, if you get tired of it in a few years, see I bought this for 200 bucks. 
in four years, I will probably still be able to get about 200 bucks out of it. You can't do that with shit that you buy now. It's poorly made, it's cheap, um, it's, it's veneer, it's press board. You can't really refin refinish it unless you, you just redo the whole thing, like just paint it and not, you can't really sand it. So it's just, it's not a good investment. And when you own your house, you wanna put pieces that, that are a good investment. Like this buffet, it's solid wood. Get some couches that are good quality, have really nice artwork. Um, things that, you know, if you need to sell later on in life, you can still get a good return out of it. Which is the same thing that I tell my clients when I do sewing stuff. You know, pay a higher price for the, for the costume. Next year, you're still gonna probably be able to sell it for the exact same price that I you bought it for because it's so well made, it's well tailored. So all those little things, you can kind of keep the same mentality towards buying anything in life, a car, a house, furniture, clothing, you know, what, whatever, right? So um, let me finish this up and then I'll take a, a picture of what I ended up finishing, what, what I ended up doing with this. Uh, thank you so much for watching. More tutorials will come up soon. All right, thanks, bye.